Well, as we all know, the power of music and live performance is that it has that unique ability to unite and captivate us all. When a performer takes the stage, he or she can certainly transcend a moment. And that's what I love about it so much. So here now to discuss his young career and a fa fantastic new opportunity is Providence's own Kofi B. Good morning once again, Kofi. <laughs> Good morning to you, BK. How are you? I am great. So nice to see you. I like this. Like we established the first time you were on KB and BK, ready to take the world <laughs> by storm. <laughs> yes, sir. I remember it very well. I'm glad to be I, back. It's great to have you here. Uh, someday we'll meet in person, but this is your second Zoom with us right here on the road show. And the first time we spoke, you had so many fun things happening, and it was great to really get to meet you. But for those unfamiliar with what you're who you are, what your work is all about. Give us a little refresher of kind of how you got going in music. Sure, yeah. I mean, currently right now, I'm at the point of where um, I'm an Emmy-nominated musician. Uh, grew up in my hometown of Akron, Ohio, but I'm currently now in the New England area and starting to play piano at the age of eight. My mom just randomly saw the advertisement for piano lessons and amongst trying other things music was the thing that captivated me and so here we are now i'm 22 years old uh 14 years later and um, music has been the centerpiece of everything for me yeah i talk regularly on the road show about what a massive impact uh, music has had on my life in so many different ways so what you're doing is so inspiring but i'd love to know who was it that really inspired you who were your favorites that kind of wanted to make you go down this musical path yeah, I mean, honestly, we talk about inspirations. Uh, for me, like I said, being from Akron, Ohio, I didn't get those those music inspirations, um, but I had a lot of people like the guy named LeBron James that we probably know of that plays basketball. Uh, he was a, a person that I think I just always looked to as a, a way out. You know, I, I saw his path and I saw what he utilized, um, which, you know, being basketball and I saw music for me being that thing. And I was like, okay, if I can keep the main thing, the main thing, then um, I can do some special things for myself, even outside of this instrument. I remember discussing that with you that first time. You as well also are a kid from Akron, and it's going to start somewhere, right? It has to. It has to. <laughs> and you're continuing to ascend. Your career has just uh, been a lot of fun to watch. Tell us a little bit about, speaking of which, this show that you're going to be a part of on February 16th in association with the legendary, yeah, right there, the Apollo Theater. What do we need to know about it? It sounds like a great opportunity for you. Listen, man, I, I can't even express the excitement that I have right now. Um, I'm so glad to be returning back. The Apollo Theater is coming back with um, their Showtime at the Apollo Amateur Night series. And, uh, you know, it's been like three years since we've been able to even perform on a stage. And New York has been itching for talent. And every week, they like every Wednesday, they've always had the Apollo. That has never ever shut down so you know the pandemic halted everything but now we're starting back and i'm coming back for the season opener of uh, producers reached out to me they said hey uh, we, we want you here and i'm like oh man this is another opportunity to uh really compete for something special because at the end of this whole thing uh the grand prize to that winner uh gets that twenty thousand dollar grand prize so i mean i i made it all the way to the finals in my first stand of doing it back in 2019 and I'm looking to uh, to finish the job. I didn't get a chance to win the finals, but this year I'm trying to do that. You know, I fancy myself as someone who can predict the future. And if the folks from the Apollo are watching right now, just make the checkout to Kofi right now. Let's get it done. Come on, don't even have the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I, I appreciate that. And I hope they're listening too. honestly, I really do. Well, all kidding aside, you know, you, you just have such remarkable talent. And I know all that the performers do. And I know you're just thrilled to be a part of that lineup that night. How can we support you and be a part of what's happening on February 16th? Sure. I mean, the biggest thing that you can do, honestly, well, if you're thinking about trying to do anything right now, if you want entertainment, um, you know, make a trip to New York for a day, go and check it out and, and purchase a ticket. But even if you can't do that, um, this show is going to be live streamed. So, I mean, you check it out on the Apollo Theater social media pages, and there's a way that you can interact and also um, help to, you know, ensure that somebody can also stay and continue on to that next round by voting online and texting to vote and all that information they'll provide the, the night of the show. But um, I I'm really excited about, uh, you know, just having people involved. This is really what it's all about, getting the people excited for uh, a really special moment. It sure is. And the Apollo Theater, just beyond legendary, you know, steeped in history. We were been talking before we started. I've got this Hall and Oates, you know, live at the Apollo uh, vinyl here that sits proudly on my wall because I'm a big fan of theirs. And that's such a, an impressive album. But the fact is that theater is just loaded with such history. And now for you to be a part of it, I mean, really, what does that mean to you and your family? Um, for me, I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, what, what it means to me is I'm, I'm on the right track. 
I'm on the right track. I mean, absolutely. I mean, you look at so many different people and, and I've had the privilege of being in other competitions that reaffirm these same things for me. I mean, being honest with you right now, I feel like I'm at a point where I'm, I'm entering that turning point. Um, I don't know what's next, but I know that I have a lot of great things lined up that's coming through this year and the Apollo is just the start and there's so many more things to come. But um, again, if I can just stay focused and continue to keep the main thing, the main thing, and that's music right now for me, I think we can do some special things this coming year and moving forward. You sure can. And where can people follow you? I know that you're very active on social media. Yeah, you can continue to follow the journey, be a part of this journey, uh, join the journey. If you haven't heard of it, I hope you can join it now. Kofi B Music, at Kofi B Music. My website is kofibmusic.com. If you can't find me that way, I did something <laughs> wrong. So, Well, I certainly found you that way, and you're doing an awesome <laughs> job. And I, you know, we wish you the best of luck, but I, I, I can envision this year. We want to watch you ascend to become such a big star that you're so big that you f forget who I am. That's how we'll know that you've made <laughs> That's funny. I, I, I'll, I'll remember you, but I, I love the energy. Well, I'm only kidding because you're always such a blast to chat with, Kofi, and we wish you the best with this uh, appearance. February 16th from the legendary Apollo Theater. Best of luck to you, my friend, and please stay in touch. I got you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You bet. If you guys would like to learn more all about Kofi's journey, we will have links to his social media pages and so much more at roadshow.com.